Hi, I'm Wee Hin. I'm here to tell you how you can reduce your carbon footprint. But first, what is that? Your carbon footprint refers to the amount of greenhouse gases that are emitted due to the fossil fuels that you consume. There are many ways that we can contribute to the burning of fossil fuels. But today, I would like to focus on the carbon footprint we created in our homes. Let me show you how electricity gets to your home. So, what's the problem? Well, when a power plant burns fossil fuels to generate electricity, carbon dioxide gas, or the CO2, is emitted into the atmosphere. This CO2 will remain in our atmosphere for some time, creating a layer of gas around our planet, trapping the heat. This is global warming. So, if your household uses more electricity, the power plant must burn more fossil fuels more CO2 will be emitted and the Earth will continue to get hotter. This climate change will lead to the oceans warming up and killing marine life. Ocean glaciers melting, dangerously increasing the sea levels. Poorer air quality leading to health problems and extreme weather events. This is how you can make a difference. Turn up your aircon up a few degrees, ideally 24 degrees, because the colder it is, the more electricity it uses. Turn off the lights and appliances when you're not using them, even in a standby mode. Use a laptop instead of a desktop computer. This will save up 50% of the power used. If every household consumed less electricity like this, less fossil fuels will be burned at power plant and less CO2 will be released into the atmosphere, slowing the effects of global warming. It's never too late to make the world a better place. Think before you consume. Reduce your carbon footprint today. My name is Gurmeet Singh. I'm chairman of the Center for Environment, Technology and Development Malaysia, SEDEM. Basically, the carbon footprint is actually part of the concern, global concern on climate change. Climate change is actually, the, the I would say, the, argue the most urgent environmental problem in the world. And the carbon emissions are that leading to global warming and global warming leads to temperature changes, sea level rise, and increase in precipitation, which is climate change. I think basically, although maybe the individual's electricity saving may be small in terms of reducing the carbon footprint compared with on his transport, because he uses more fuel for his transport, but it still can make a difference. Individually, you may make much difference, but cumulatively, all the thousands of Malaysians who use electricity, in fact, I would say millions were using, it would make a difference. Although, of course, Globally or within the country, the biggest users of electricity are not individuals, but a commercial and industrial firms. We must bear that in mind. But in terms of your personal contribution, you can make a difference. Although it would be a bigger difference if industries and the commercial sector became energy efficient, especially in terms of electricity. So this is your opportunity to contribute. Although it may be small, but it will build up. Multiplier effect is there. Everybody takes it as a personal challenge. And to me, to me, this is the biggest personal challenge any individual in the world can do. Do their share to reduce the carbon footprint.